Okay, got a little machining project. Um, ignore the battery charger for the moment. I got out here and the bike died on me. Good thing I got a new battery waiting for me at home. So, anyway, machining project. Um, no luggage space on this. I'm a big fan of Pelican cases. I want to make something quick, uh, quickly that I can throw on the back here that uh, will give me a little bit of luggage space before I get around to uh, building saddle bikes for this thing. So, uh, seat, passenger seat, next to useless, pops on back here and uh, clips in. So basically I'm thinking I can do something quick by replicating the mount stuff for, uh, uh, for clicking into the back here and I'll put that on the bottom of Pelican case. So got a little bit of aluminum, gonna start uh, milling it up. See if I can come up with something that looks kind of like this. So let's get started. Okay, so first part of making of this little chunk of aluminum here is going to be the uh, the block for the to uh, back end there, a little hook that's going to hook in. So uh, I got her uh, kind of squared up on a few sides, and I'm going to start punching out this hole here. So we got a diameter 698. I'm going to punch a 5 8 hole through there. And, uh, and then use my boring bar to uh, pick up the rest of the uh, 698. So, first I'm going to pick up the edges, give myself a zero on the DRO, and we'll uh, start going from there. So, dial this baby down, so we're in there. This is really hard to do one handed. Anyway, we'll have to shut the camera off. Okay, yeah, yeah. see if we can do this here with. There's the X, let's just try that again. There we go. A zero on my X. Let's try the Y. Okay. Okay, we're going to start off with 3 8 hole here. This handle's set up a little better. There we go. This ain't that critical, so I'm not uh, spotting it at all. So this, in theory, should give me enough clearance between my parallel, but don't let me forget to take that out. Okay, now we'll punch her out to half inch. Okay, now for the fun part. We got the boring bar going. So the question is whether or not we got enough clearance on the backside. A half inch hole. It's very small for this sucker. It does look like it's working. Good. A little coolant. Hey, work with me now. There we go. Got my handle back on. Awesome. Look at that. Now in theory, I just gotta back uh, back my boring up bar out until I hit the edges. That is a theory. Well, uh, we are through. Okay, so I'll just measure that. See where we are. Dial in the next. Okay, so uh, I'm shooting for 698, and I've got 561, so that's 137 thou to go, 68 and a half per side. Now, I don't know if this boring bar reads radius or diameter, so let's dial in 50. 
Are we going this way? No, we need to be going the other way. So we're at 10. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, that looks like uh, 50 thou on the radius. Drop that down and see what it looks like. Oh, still engaged. Yeah, that's 50, I think. Okay, so tight, tight, and tight. Try her again here. Okay, get that all the way out of the way. And it popped all the way, darn it. There we go. So, 650, 60, 65, 66, 666, 667, so 698 minus 667 is 31,000 more to go. So 31 divided by 2, we're going to call her 15,000. I'm at 10. That'll be 15 right there. Hey, stop that. Okay. Over again here. I'm going to throw on the uh, power feed here. And. Come on, Missy. There it goes. And what do we got here? Forty-seven. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Smoking. There we go. All right, so there's a hole. Just measure it out. Six ninety three. So I'm going to call that uh, pretty darn close. And uh, I'm going to pop that thing out, trim out, the, uh, trim out the edges there, and then see how it fits. Okay, so whack this bit out here. She's using a 5 8 two flute cutter. Spitting chips everywhere. Okay, so that's 300, uh, what did I want, 700, so I'm going to go 650-ish. Got to sneak up to uh, tangent to that radius. That's pretty 
close. And that's a 700. Boy, I'm gonna call that right on. Nice. Gotta. Okay, so I just checked it out. My radius is a little bit light there. It's a little too tight. I want a little more play. So I'm gonna set this thing back up in there. And uh, that's why I had the stop so that I could uh, reset again. And uh, I'm gonna bore that out a little bit larger. Okay, we're starting to look like the print. So uh, next part is to drill these holes in here. And uh, yeah, four holes. And we're uh, tapping those out for quarter 28, quarter inch fine thread. So uh, let's get this sucker set in there. Tuck that down. Of course, uh, I've trimmed off the length a little bit. So I'm going to have to re-pick up this edge here with an edge finder. All right. Got our beat. So that's the part there. I think I'll just take a file to it, clean up the edges a little bit, but uh, now uh, we are on to these posts. And those I think I'm making out of steel, so I gotta find myself some steel here, chuck her in the lathe. Uh, maybe I'll go get some supper first. Okay, so I got these things made, a little notch in there, click, they fit in great. So uh, now I just need to make the uh, bracket that these things are going to pocket into and also the plate for, uh, for the tail end. So got a little piece of aluminum chucked in here. I'm going to start milling that up. Okay, didn't get to record too much because the batteries are running low. But I got the parts basically all done. Threaded. And that's for the forward part. And I made a little uh, bushing here that fits onto a post and uh, locates it on the bike. Yeah, turned out pretty good. So now all I got to do is uh, find my t my uh, Pelican case and mount these to it. All right, so I got my case here and uh, just got to find center and start mounting them up. I think I'm going to uh, start by mounting the tail one first because that's the trickier one of the two. And then I'll adjust this one forward and aft uh, once I got that on the bike. So uh, let's get out some tools, mark out some centers, and drill that thing in. Okay, got the one on there. Only uh, the bolts that I got, I didn't calculate the, the lengths right, and so they're a little bit short. So I'm going to have to exchange a couple bolts uh, on Monday. But. Uh, there you can see coming through we just got a couple little stainless button head bolts so I'm gonna fit this up to the bike see how uh, see how that works and we'll get the alignment for the back done next all right got her done brackets are mounted so let's mount this thing on here see if I can do this with one hand you got in the back and frontier in the back Come on, baby. There we go. Pops right in. Now, I do have uh, a little bit of rock in there. I need uh, a couple of thin washers, which I gotta go get yet. But other than that, that thing is on there, nice and solid. And I'm really happy. And the real reason that I wanted to get a little lockable case on the back of my bike is so I can legally transport my firearms up to the gun range. So, let's go shooting.